So next up, here are a couple of examples where Rolle's theorem fails even though it doesn't necessarily look like it should. First situation that I have for you is f of x is equal to 1 over x squared on the closed interval from negative 1 to 1. You'll notice that if we just check the third hypothesis of Rolle's theorem, which is whether or not we get the same y value at the two different x values, we might not get enough information because it definitely looks like the y values are the same and so we should wind up with that point on the interval somewhere where f prime of c is equal to zero. But if you check the domain of the original function, because it's a reciprocal function, uh, excuse me, a rational function, the denominator is not allowed to be equal to zero, letting you know that x cannot be equal to zero. So the domain would be from negative infinity to zero, union, zero to infinity. Unfortunately, the interval in question is not contained within the domain, and therefore, f is not continuous on the closed interval from negative 1 to 1. So the first of the three hypotheses of Rolle's theorem fails, therefore, Rolle's theorem doesn't apply here. A similar logic works if we want to talk about the function f of x is equal to the absolute value of x on the closed interval from negative 3 to 3. I would imagine the majority of you know what the absolute value function looks like, something like this. Once again, if we were to check the third hypothesis of Rolle's theorem, we would get the absolute value of negative 3 and the absolute value of 3. So again, it looks like those y values are the same. Additionally, the domain of the absolute value function is all real numbers, and it is continuous on its entire domain. So if the first hypothesis works out and the last hypothesis works out, that means that we're going to encounter an issue with the second hypothesis. Do keep in mind that the absolute value function is actually a piecewise defined function. It's equal to negative x if x is less than 0, and it's equal to positive x as long as x is greater than or equal to 0. Now if I were to differentiate this and use the piecewise defined definition of the derivative, it would look like the following. The derivative of negative x is equal to negative 1, as long as x is less than 0, and the derivative of x is equal to 1, as long as x is greater than 0. So the derivative of our absolute value function actually looks like this. There is a jump discontinuity at x equals 0. Now this is manifested in the original graph by saying this part of the graph has a slope of negative 1 and this part of the graph has a slope of positive 1 giving us this nice sharp corner right here. Because of that corner we can say f is not differentiable on the given open interval, negative 3 to positive 3. So that's a couple situations where it looks like Rolle's theorem should work based on the last hypothesis, but it doesn't actually work because one of the other two breaks down.